Hi everybody, this is Spartan Ireland. I just want to give some examples of how to get through um, the Helix. The Helix um, doesn't take very long. I think that it's um, it's not intended um, to be very common, at least not with competitive racers, not intended to be common that there's a failure rate. It's really supposed to just break up your, your rhythm and that tempo that you found with your cardio, your heart rate, and your breathing and stuff while you're running. Um, just mix it up a bit, do a little bit of upper body work, but not real strenuous, and mess with your rhythm before you continue on. Uh, but one of the risks could be, I guess, not respecting it and trying to blaze through it too fast, um, that you could lose grip and do burpees on what's otherwise a pretty simple obstacle. Um, and so they give you some really easy, really sure grips along here. Um, if you, you spend, uh, you know, whatever, an extra second to make sure you're solid, uh, it's a far better than burpees. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You got platforms underneath you, you got things with your hands. So all you need to do is make sure you don't touch the top and don't get your foot back in the dirt before you start. And other than that, we'll, we'll start. I'm going to time this and see how long it's okay. All right, here we go. All right. You might have to stretch out a little bit. Make sure you got that solid grip. Even if you have to reach down, get something solid so you're you're certain. And so I took 15 seconds that time. Um, like I said, uh, just don't want to rush it to the point that you don't respect it and end up with your foot in the dirt. But other than that, um, just keep something solid in your hand, and you're not going to come off. Um, you can do this. Thanks for watching.